Okay, thanks and welcome back, folks. So this is uh, another attempt. Well, I actually uh, say it's an add-on to the last video I did because that was an unboxing. This one, I'm actually going to give you a little information about my opinion on the new Acer. This is the Acer uh, Swift Go 14. I've had it now for a couple of weeks and, uh, or just about a couple of weeks, and I've used it on and off. Uh, it's can't say it's been my daily driver, but I can say I've used it enough where I've kind of formed some opinions. I did do it a little bit of testing. I will say that uh, once I had it fully charged, uh, I ran it for two hours. Uh, basically ran a movie for two hours, checking it out, see how much battery would be eaten. Now I said the this is at 50%. This was the exact settings I used. This is 50% brightness that you're seeing here. Uh, also had the volume at 30%. And when the movie was done, which was two hours, I made sure it was a two-hour film, it, it was down to 81% battery. And it was saying that it would last another 10 hours and 34 minutes. Now, I find that a little bit of a stretch, I think. In my opinion, it's probably, if I got eight hours out of it, that would be great. I never heard the fan. Uh, it's very quiet, very light. It did not get hot. I picked it up and you know felt the bottom. Not hot at all. This thing is super quiet. I've heard the fan maybe once in the week and a half, two weeks I've used it. And even then it was very quiet. The keyboard is great. Let me show you what the uh, let me show you what it looks like at full brightness. This is 50%. Okay, uh, let me find that. Here we go, right here. That's full brightness. Okay, and you know it's. And I've already tested the. Uh, I did a little test of the audio uh, when uh, in the last video, and the audio is okay. It's not as great as like a say a MacBook or an iPad, Mac, you know, iPad Pro, uh, but. It's better than most laptops, I think. I like the keyboard. Keyboard's got a nice bit of travel. I'm enjoying that. The, I re, normally I hate using uh, a, uh, uh, a one of these one, one of the pads here. One of the uh, gosh, see this what happens when you get old. You forget things. <laughs> one of the pointers down here. I, I normally hit this one's actually really good and pretty darn accurate, and I've been using it. Uh, as you can see, I, I have a mouse over here, and I use that for my, of course, my desktop, which is in behind this. But, gosh, this is this pointer here. You know, this is a good trackpad. It's got, it's really very big. It reminds me of, Ma of, a, of a MacBook trackpad. It's that good. Uh, Windows 11. Uh, there is some bloatware on this thing. Uh, I keep getting ads for games that Acer wants to throw at me and say, hey, don't you want to try this game? And I'm like, no, Acer, go away. I don't want that. So there is a little bit of bloatware when you get it. It's not too bad. They do want you to, uh, to sign up, of course, register it and everything and sign up for their uh, warranty, extended warranty. Uh, don't worry about that. You know, uh, I'm not rough on, uh, uh, on computers anyway. But... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm so far very impressed by this. Uh, it's uh, nice silver back here. Uh, the i7 core processor, again, super fast and super quiet. You, you, I mean, the fans, I heard them once. And right here, that's how much battery life I have after two hours. And of course, being on a couple more minutes, it's down to 79% now. And now it's saying, see, with me cranking up the uh, uh, the light and saying, "Oh, you're only going to get a, a you know, well, you're going to get a day in three hours and fourteen minutes." What? I don't think so. I think it. Uh, I think it's a little off. <laughs> I really doubt that. Um, based on my experience with this thing, uh, I think yes, I can. I can run my work day with this. It will get a full eight hours, and I usually leave it on fifty percent, and it's fine. You know, this is full, full bore, 100% uh, brightness. And it's a little too bright for me, actually. Uh, so, hey, Acer, congrats. This is a very nice laptop. I'm glad I have it. 
Uh, yes, I would. if you're looking for a nice, light Windows laptop to do um, business on, maybe a little light gaming, you, can, you could consider this one. I would consider this one. No heavy gaming, uh, but something light, sure. Uh, maybe some Steam games, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my general review this time of the Acer Swift Go 14, which is, should be in your neighborhood electronic store or online even now. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.